everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having an unbelievable uh, day and week. Uh, you know uh, my mantra. No matter where you're at, no matter what's going on, whether you're making it good or you're making it hard, it's pushing hard back on you. If you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare give up. Uh, before I get started, this is going to be one of those videos that won't have the preemptive video about uh, what we're doing about the fundraiser because I'm going to just upload this when I get to the cigar shop and be done with it. Uh, but someone requested that I do the video, so I'm going to do it while I have time. Now, um, what I want to uh, push upon you is the importance of supporting the work we do. We need your support. Uh, I, can, I can't stress that enough, so I'm, I'm challenging you. If you believe in the work we do, if you have had any dealings with me or you're aware of me for any stretch of time, you know what I've done. You know what I do. If you don't, the link will be in the description box. You can see it yourself. But what I want to challenge you to do is support the work we do. Now, on to this video. And I mean, when people come and make requests, for me to do videos nobody ever requests anything easy everybody requests things that are challenging and you know i'm talking noise but i prefer challenges i prefer things that stretch me i prefer things that push me i prefer things that make me think beyond what just flows and um what they were talking about they were looking at another video where i were talking about while i was talking about what's going on with diddy and uh marriage and so many other things and where we are in that in that scope and they said you know would i do a video uh about red flags when meeting people and dating and on and on with some things to look for uh because of you know there's so much going on out there when young people are meeting and what's going on and I mean, there's no clear cut, cookie cutter answer to this. It's about uh, self awareness first. Uh, before you can choose a good mate, and you know, a good mate to me is somebody that brings positivity into your life, somebody that uh, provides a level of elevation in some way. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect mate. There's no such thing. As, I think one of the problems that we have when we're out searching for mates is we want the spectacular before the foundation. Nobody wants to build foundations anymore. Everybody wants to walk into a uh, relational utopia and it sets us up for failure. It also sets, up to, sets us up to get taken. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. But here, uh, because we want this storybook romance and what you have to realize is when it comes to marriage romance didn't even enter the equation until the 13th century for so for thousands of years romance wasn't a part of marriage marriage was a responsibility it was a mechanism it was a wealth hack it was so much but romance entered and then it became about feelings and it became more and more about feelings it became about wowing someone it became about who are in someone it became about the presentation in the beginning and people got lost on the long term and so what happens is when the feeling leaves the people lose interest the people start looking for the feeling again and that's not what relationships are about relationships are about hey do you mean me well can we build together can we go somewhere together i don't need you to be perfect i just need you to be grown I need you to be able to speak into me sometimes because sometimes I'm down. I need you to be able to receive when I speak into you because sometimes you're going to be down. That's what we're looking for. Okay, red flags is, number one is because so much emphasis is put on the spectacular. So much emphasis is put on how much you wow me, how much you impress me on the onset that nobody's thinking about the longevity of it. It makes us easy to take. It makes us easy to fall into situations in which we don't uh, hold longevity. That, you know, we uh, very quickly fall out of quote unquote love. The truth of the matter is there is no falling in and out of love. Love is something that is built, something that is grown, something that is sustained. You don't fall in and out of it. You, you uh, execute it. You carry it out 
you express it, but you don't fall in and out of it. But that's the idea. That's the thing we're walking into. That's the problem. That's the challenge. So here is the thing. The first thing you've got to do is be self-aware. You need to know who you are. You need to know who you are at a level that there's an automatic standard, an automatic uh, erection of boundaries around you that simply certain things aren't going to be accepted. And that when those things uh, are illuminated, that it immediately move, removes you from the equation. Because a lot of times what happens is because we're looking for the spectacular, we're looking for the boxes to be checked. She can cook. She's got this banging body. She's gorgeous. She's great in bed. All these things that we're checking off women. He has has an unbelievable job he makes six figures he's got a banging body abs off the chain all this good stuff right and then you know so we checking out the boxes here's what i can tell you every situation and this is what i do you know as a part of uh uh, uh the visionetics institute is i deal with people who are coming out of these situations traumatic situations or people who are trying to save their marriages what i can tell you is um, almost in every instance, people who built their relationships based off of checked boxes rarely get what they expect. And here's the thing. People develop types based off of what they've seen and how things make them feel. If you've read a lot of romance novels, if you've watched a lot of romance movies, if you've heard a lot of stories about romance, you've developed an idea of how you want to enter it. Guys, if you've read about the Prince Charming, you want a wild woman like that. You want a woman to just be totally taken by you. So you're looking for that person that responds to the that way. One, women, if you've read about this, if you've read and you've seen it, you want to experience the, 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 the Cinderella story of just being wild and taken by a guy that rescues you from everything that ails your life and takes you to a place where everything is uh, utopic. And so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the person who can do that. Here's the thing that when you see those things and you check off, a lot of times what our type is based off of our expectations isn't what we need first and foremost. Most of us are in a place of growth, in a place of, uh, in a process of restoration. We've been through some things. We're carrying some bags. We, you're not gonna, first of all, you're not gonna meet anybody with baggage. So if you meet somebody and you can't find their bags, be careful. That's a flag. That means they're going out of their way to hide it. Means they're going out of their way to present something that isn't true and accurate. Everybody has bags. Now, the thing is, you got to ask yourself, when I'm looking at their bags, how does their bags fit into my space? Uh, is there something about me that can help them neatly unpack their bags, lighten their bags? Okay, how does their gifting, how does their presence, how does their way, way of thinking allow me to safely unpack and carry the bags that I'm carrying. Can we build an edifice together in which we can support one another's baggage and grow and build until baggage is no longer a restrictive issue? That's part of it. So that's it. Stop looking and checking boxes. Life doesn't work like that. Life is an organic spiritual experience. And when you try to outthink your intuition, which is God's speech and, and, and communication with you about people, you override the protective mechanism and a lot of times end up in situations you don't deserve to be in. Listen to your intuition. If bells and whistles are going off, I don't care what he drives. I don't care how fine he is. I don't, I don't care uh, how many women want him. Let them have him. Men, I don't care how banging her body is. I don't care how good her cooking is. I don't care what kind of tricks she can do in the bedroom. If, if, if something ain't feeling right, trust it, get back. Now, either one or two things are happening when something isn't feeling right. Either your, 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 your intuition is on and accurate and it's warning you, or your intuition has been corrupted and is sending bad signals and you need to stop worrying about a relationship and work on you. It's that simple. It's either working or it ain't, but what you don't need to be in is in that relationship either way. Either it's warning you or it's telling you you need to work on you. So you need to be aware. That should be a sense of spiritual ease. That should be a connection of energy. That should be an elevation. Every time you walk in the room, that whole idea well, when I first met him, I didn't like him or that first man, you know, I wasn't really feeling it, but then this and then this. Be careful. That's a sign of you overriding your intuition, overriding God's natural instinctive gift he gave us to sense danger. All right, so that's that part of it. 
a person that constantly talks about themselves. Sign of narcissism. Sign of self-indulgent, self-consuming uh, self behavior. Be careful with that red flag. A person who consistently in a joking, jokingly manner diminishes who you are or marginalizes who you are. What they're doing is saying there's something about you that intimidates them or makes them feel uncomfortable so they find a way to break you down. They do it casually, they do it within the confines of joking and playing around, but they are attacking you to bring you down so that they can fit into your world because they don't believe that they do. That's an issue with them, not with you, but you need to be aware of what's going on. There are a number of different things that you pay attention to. Again, you want a person that's not doing the dance. Stop looking for the spectacular. Stop looking for the who are. Look for their tools. See, what the hell is you talking about? To? See, when you look for the spectacular, you're looking for the erection in the edifice that's already been built. You look for something that says, oh man, this is going to be great. I'm going on this unbelievable trip. The problem is that feeling that you get can't last forever because it has to have something on which to plant itself. It has to be a foundation. When you go for the ride without the foundation, you eventually have to come back and deal with the fact that you have no place to rest. Um, and, and, and you can't really erect a build on it because there's no foundation. It was great when it first started because was fun but eventually it's all you got and then eventually it gets old and dull and eventually you get boring and all kind of things happen when people get boring in relationships get bored in relationships so what do you need you need to look for the person with the tools tools to build the foundation what are they looking at they're talking about hey this is where we're going to start this is what i want i want to establish trust i want to establish communication I want to establish awareness of our future destiny, our future desires, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. They're ready to build. Now, building isn't all that glamorous. Building isn't all that spectacular. Building takes work. Building looks, uh, it's just like wide and by, and you're looking at a home uh, that's being built. When you worry about it, they're pouring the foundation, and nothing spectacular about that, nothing who are about that, but without that foundation, you don't get that erection, whether it's one story or two story, that you ride by and go, that is a dope house. You don't get that without the foundation. You can't have the right plumbing set up or anything without the foundation. Everything is dependent upon pouring the foundation, having a solid foundation. So you should be looking for someone that has their own foundation foundation but has a mindset of building a foundation with someone else on that foundation you can build deconstruct reconstruct and redesign over and over again till you get exactly what you want the foundation anchors you if you don't have it it's going to be a problem so that's going to be it for right now depending on the responses i may come back and do a part two but i had to give this to you for uh sheila you, you, you asked for it, you got it. All right. On that note, I'm out of here again, once again. If you believe in the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project, Black Men Lead, uh, the program we have with our, our women that are struggling with intimate partner violence, domestic uh, violence, uh, childhood sexual abuse, and so much more. If you believe in the work we're doing with that and so much more, our research arm, we literally have a research arm and a think tank at the Odyssey Project. And on that, we build that. If you haven't uh, learned about the research on, uh, pay attention. I've uh, done three installments on the Born in Captivity series, which is a reading of my 19th book, Born in Captivity. But it, it, it outlines our journey, our challenges, the reasons we behave a certain way, the reasons we struggle in certain things, and so much more. It's going to give you an understanding. It's going to also give you an idea to the depth of the work and the research I've done to gain this understanding, to be able to present uh, solutions. And if you believe in it, show some love, show some support, donate, because we need your support. On that note, look, I'm, we're getting near to get off here. I'm about to try to unwind. It's been a long year, <laughs> an even longer month, it seems. <laughs> and I just need to try to unwind. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day.